everybody. I'm here with this book, um, Balanced and Barefoot by Angela Hanscom. Um, this is a book review of this book. I just read it. Um, I listened to the audio and I like skimmed the um, physical copy. And um, I thought it would be a really good book to review for the Uncivilized Vitality channel because this uh, what this book speaks to is the vital path number one, um, natural movement is vital, that Dr. Mori teaches about so much. This obviously is a little bit more about children, but um, honestly, we were all kids once and it applies to all of us really. So Angela Hanscom is a occupational therapist who wrote that, this because she was seeing a trend of um, children having more sensory issues that they needed occupational therapy with. Um, she was seeing a trend of children being um, less coordinated, having less balance, uh, not being as strong as they used to be. And um, she, you know, believes that this all goes back to the lack of time that children are playing outside. She actually created a school called Timbernook. Um, that is all outside and I guess would be maybe similar to like a forest school um, and She talks a lot about how even the children that um, Come to her school timber knock in the beginning don't have the strength that children um, have that have been going there so um, In an attempt to help teachers, occupational therapists, parents, whomever learn about this. She wrote this book and um, it's really important to understand that she incorporates like unrestricted outdoor play. So there's lots of times that, you know, kids are outside maybe for like soccer or some sort of sport, but it's very um, restricted or there's um, a lot of rules and certain things that they're doing, which can be great, but she's speaking to the unrestricted outdoor play that um, in my childhood, and I think people older than me in their childhood had outside. So we would play tag until the streetlights came on. And, um, you know, I'm 36 and, um, People younger than me had a lot more electronics in their childhood and were outside less. So it's showing um, the result of that, you know, from this book. So um, not only sensory integration, um, confidence, capability, strength um, are all things that come out of children who um, go to Timbernook or um, have unrestricted outdoor play. Obviously that's something that UV would get behind because um, uh, we believe that daily outdoor time is vital and natural movement is vital. You can see this little girl on the cover is in a very natural um, uh, position, a squat, a deep squat, and is playing in the mud and she has uh, no issues with getting her heels down like I have. Um, she has no sensory issues with, you know, being muddy it looks like. Um, this is a natural position that kids will play in to look at bugs and things on the ground if they are outside. Um, squatting in particularly is something that we don't do really well in our American culture because we're in chairs. Um, and it's, um, it's showing. You know, you don't want to be an adult like me trying to get your squat back. You know, I keep telling my kids, you know, keep squatting in hopes that they'll just keep it, right? Um, so yeah, anybody could really um, benefit from this book that has children in their lives, um, even babies. So I love, as a postpartum doula, that she covered um, babies being in nature and the benefit of that, and like really broke down. Um, safety too because a lot of new moms are really concerned about their babies getting dirty or putting certain things in their mouth and she really breaks down um, the benefits of certain um, natural things going in your baby's mouth and the things that you should be concerned about right um, 
so it, everywhere from you know babies on up she really covers she covers a lot of parents like fears you know of injuries um, fear of um, your kids being outside uh, in their be you know predators and things like that she really um, kind of brings back the reality of the world that we're living in instead of um, always us parents always being fearful of everything right um, she really does a great job of explaining that um, children and nature you know um, that is like the appropriate way to integrate your senses is in nature um, because obviously we have evolved that way right um, modern times now we're indoors more and sensory wise um, it's a lot harder to um, integrate and regulate you know your senses um, in my opinion uh, indoors whereas it's a lot easier outside so what's really cool is that there is now, um, I just found out that there's a timber nook um, opening in Michigan. So um, our UV chapter is based out of Jersey County, um, but this timber nook is going to be in Jackson, Michigan. And um, that's, you know, maybe hour, hour and a half from us, but it's still really exciting that it's coming to Michigan and that um, people are understanding the need for this. So you could always um, check that out if you're in that area. But if you're not, this is a great book for teachers, for um, parents, for um, anybody with kids for sure. And um, maybe even new moms. Um, either way, give it a read. Uh, if you are in Genesee County, you can jump on the library apps and listen to this for free. So. I hope you like this review. Um, we have more coming that are like parent and child related and how that um, ties into um, the UV teachings. So um, if you're interested in more content like that, make sure you subscribe, give us a like or a comment. All right, thanks, bye.